City of Mesa is now designated by the International Board of Credentialing and Continuing Education Standards as, as a autism friendly city. What did she just say, you guys? Welcome to our channel. I'm mom of Joshua, 12 year old who has high functioning autism right there. And we do weekly vlogs. Today we're talking, it's autism is, we're talking autism. And I found this story on Twitter and it was the number one story. So if you're not aware of this, Mesa, Arizona has gone through all the, the training, the procedures, everything they needed to do to get this whole city claimed as a autism certified city. First one ever in the United States. Crazy a great. huge honor for the city of Mesa. <laughs> the first ever autism certified city in the U.S. is right here in Arizona. The city of Mesa is now designated by the International Board of Credentialing and Continuing Education Standards as a autism friendly city. Nearly 60 businesses and organizations in Mesa and the surrounding area completed autism certification training and are now each deemed a certified autism center. The year long effort was launched by Visit Mesa CEO Mark Garcia after. Does his anybody else know about this? Because I have never heard of such a thing, seriously. I just heard about it like 24 Please hours. Please tell us more. Please. We got the uncomfortable stares. We were made to feel uncomfortable, uninvited, unwelcome. And not just from other guests like us, but from supposed hospitality professionals, people in my business, people who should know better. And so I said, this is wrong. I'm gonna do something about this back in my hometown in Mesa. And so that's how we embarked on this journey. Nearly 4,000 community members have completed or committed to autism certification. The CDC says approximately one in 59 children is diagnosed with an autism spectrum disorder. So shout out to Mark Garcia. I am really, really digging this. However, there is, uh, I do have my own thoughts about traveling it says in it says in the news or it says it with the CDC says 80% of autism families do not travel. 87% of all families with autism don't travel at all. So for me as a mom, I feel so confident in going to an autism certified destination because I know that the staff there has been trained in autism awareness and they're ready to welcome us with open arms. We wanted to come to Mesa, Arizona to really experience all that it has to offer and We've just had a fantastic time. Going to an autism friendly location takes that stress away from me as a parent. For all the places that we've had the opportunity to visit in Mesa, Arizona, I give these guys a 10 out of 10. If you're looking for a great place to vacation with your family, visit me. My question is at the end, uh, I actually recorded it yesterday, so I'm actually in different clothes. So just follow, hopefully it. Hopefully I just want to say, it, that's my light. That's my light. I have no light in my room. <laughs> that's, the, that's the light and it is not hooked up properly. So basically what I wanted to know is what you guys think. Would you guys visit this place? The statistic that I heard was 80% of autism families do not travel. That's incredible. That is incredible. I guess my why is... Is it because you don't have a destination to go to? Meaning, now that they have this city that is set up for you to go to that is autistically certified, is that what the, is that the game changer for you? Or is it the traveling, the actual getting to the city? Because that's really the tough one for me. So I know airlines are doing things for autism. So they're, they're working to make it more autism friendly on Delta Airlines here in Jacksonville. I don't know what other airlines are doing, so if you do know, comment below and let us know because I'd be very curious. And it's not that I don't have a destination as much, although I think it's a wonderful thing, don't get me wrong, I think it's wonderful that they did this because the next step, what you have to look at, is doing this is what's gonna happen next. Now you have this destination, now we need to get to this destination, which 
pushes airlines to make more autism friendly airlines for us. So it's a great step, wonderful step, I think. But I don't think necessarily that my not traveling has to do with a destination as much as the actual travel. Um, Joshua has a lot of anxiety when we travel. The traveling is not so much uh, his fun time. So, and I would love to hear if this is something you would do, and if you know of any other uh, autism-friendly travel airline, train, bus, anything autism-friendly that has to do with travel. Uh, comment below and let me know because I will follow up on this if you guys want and do another video with everything included. So I hope you enjoyed it. It's just a very quick video. Joshua is not in this video. I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know what you think below and like this video if you like, you know, the idea of an autistic destination and subscribe if you're not. And if you're new, welcome. Peace out. I don't have Joshua to do my peace out, but peace.